let's have a property tour, shall we? Brian Lebo here, and this is a really interesting one for you today, guys. So today we're out at Southern Highlands Country Club, and this is one of the most expensive Lennar homes you will ever see. In fact, 10 years ago, this was their showcase property, and the current owners have done a few things to even increase this property's value from there. So today, let's take a look at this property because it's something a little bit different than we normally do where the outside is very Tuscan themed, but the inside is modern contemporary. So let's check it out. Now, one of the first things that I love about this property is the fact that when you approach the property, as you saw, we actually come in from this front door. So anyone that does approach your property cannot actually see into your property or actually even enter into any of the living space areas to begin with. Which brings us to this amazing courtyard entry. So obviously over here, we have a great outdoor fireplace. And if you're not from Las Vegas, one of the great things about having these interior courtyards is the fact that it's flanked on all four sides. So on those windy Vegas days, you have complete obstruction from all wind. So it makes it a really nice place to be if you want to enjoy the outdoors and you don't feel like getting everything blown around. Now let's step into the property. Now, if we had them closed, you would see we enter through double French doors, which are very elegant with a little wrought iron as well. But one of the main features is this right here. From the sight line, when you first enter the door, you can see right through the house into this spectacular backyard which we will discuss a little bit later. But again, architecturally just amazing how you can see this right from your first entry. Wonderful. Now, like we normally do, we're gonna start off in the kitchen, but we'll talk about the flooring on the way there. So the main floor of this entire property consists of 12 by 24 inch honed limestone. So it's a marble, but it's actually limestone. I believe it's called a driftwood. Really beautiful, really elegant. Uh, what more can I say? Very modern. Now, speaking of modern, we couldn't have a modern kitchen without the obligatory waterfall, of course. So here we have a massive, massive island. And one of the features that I really love is, you know, modern design is more 90 degree squared off angles. And you'll see here, we have a mixture of rounded radius corners with your 90 degrees. And this island encapsulates everything that I'm saying. So you have your modern waterfall return here. And what's really neat is even the edge profile here is three and a half inches. So much more monolithic than what we've been seeing lately. I personally love this look, but this massive island took two slabs just to fabricate. So again, very elegant, basically the statement piece of this entire kitchen. Really, really love it. Now talking about the island, there's a lot in this island as well, which is neat. The first off right here, we have wine refrigeration. So whether you wanna put your canned beverages or bottles of wine, you can store them right here on the island. So very, very nice. But let's talk about cabinetry. Now the cabinetry here is all solid core maple that's been stained in espresso color. So very modern, very lovely, a little bit different than what we've been seeing from say Blue Heron properties where they go with a TFL style cabinetry. You'll see that more when we get to the primary suite in the primary closet. Now, again, same continuation with the quartz counter surface. We have that three and a half inch edge profile over here on the opposing side of the island. Now, this is kind of a neat one that you never see. So all the appliances here are all GE monogram. So it's nice to have everything in unison. But while we have the 36 inch uh, cooktop, we also have the oven. But what's neat is because of the custom fabrication for the countertops, in order to create that three and a half inch monolithic edge profile, they have to float the counter surface up basically three inches. So what's neat that you probably would never notice is this oven actually has to sit on a riser that's about three inches above the ground. So it's a little bit more flush with the counter surface. Of course, we have the matching 36 inch ventilation hood, but one of the really undervalued aspects is I really absolutely love this backsplash. You guys tell me what you think. This is a stainless steel backsplash. Uh, I believe Walker Zanger usually stocks it. When I did my remodel, that was one of the options, but I love the stainless steel backsplash. Really easy to keep clean, surprisingly, and just kind of gives it a really nice flair, keeps it modern. I really, really love it. All right, coming down this area a little bit more, we'll get to, we have the GE Monogram built-in microwave. We have another oven, so we do have two ovens. Did I say two? Did I say, oh yeah. Well, speaking of two, you know where I'm going. We are over $3 million, which means we better have 
two dishwashers. Yes, I'm giving you the weird two instead of that two. Yes, we do have two GE Monogram dishwashers. That makes daddy very, very happy. <laughs> and of course we have our under mount sink. And one of the things that I love about this kitchen is this kitchen is very much a part of the family room. So right here from the sink, I can see the television. It's a great, great, great orientation for the kitchen. Now, first we're gonna come down here a little bit and then we'll finish up with the rest of the kitchen. So coming down this area, we do have the mud deck. When you come in, take your shoes off, etc. Over here to the right is your walk-in pantry, normal pantry, nothing crazy. And then behind me here, this is the entrance to the garage. So the garage is actually a four car garage, epoxy floor, 250 gallon water heaters, EV charging, 1450 NEMA plug, everything you would want from a modern garage. So check that off the list. Now, over here, finishing up with the kitchen, we do have our built-in GE Monogram 60 inch refrigerator. So it's a 50-50 split between our refrigeration and our freezing. Couldn't be more perfect, but here's a cool little Easter egg that I wanna share with you. Um, I'm not a huge ice person, but for the people that are, you're probably gonna freak out. I do love that they put in a built-in ice maker and not only is it built in ice maker, but this makes those little pellet of ice that everyone freaks out about. So just kind of neat to have. All right, now that we've seen the kitchen, let's come over this direction. And let's talk about the family room because it's a beautiful and perfect family room. Now, look, you can't miss this slider system. Clearly, this is what makes modern contemporary living. And this is one of the finest ones you're gonna see where this comes to a 90 degree angle. So right now it's 100 degrees outside and I don't think you guys wanna see me sweating profusely. So that's why we have it closed. Enjoy the B-roll. But this makes for a perfect, perfect indoor outdoor living experience. One of my favorite slider systems. Now coming over to this direction, we have the media wall. So similar to what you're gonna see in the primary bathroom, we go from a limestone honed marble floor to a Calcutta marble to encompass this uh, media wall. So very elegant, very nice. We have our 72 inch gas linear fireplace. And just to get an idea of sense of scope and scale, we have an 85 inch television above it. So just a perfect, perfect media wall. I love the chandeliers that are deployed from the ceiling. And of course we have double height ceiling. So it just feels very voluminous in here, very inviting. And of course you get to enjoy these wonderful views. Now, Coming over in this direction back towards the kitchen, this is just an elegant, lovely area. You know, like I alluded to earlier, I love the architectural design where you have those modern 90 degree edges, but then you also have radius like this. So here in the pseudo formal dining room, which, you know, more of a nook, if you will, I love that we have this radius area with the four windows. And then of course we have a perfect designer table. So we have a rounded table, which kind of plays off of that radius wall and just an awesome, awesome chandelier. So again, beautiful interior design, splendid job. And I love the architectural design of this as well. Now over here is your powder bathroom for all your guests. So we have a, a, a coat closet that goes under the stairs, plenty of storage. We have a nice little, like drop zone, if you will, over here, a little linen closet. And then we have this powder bathroom and there's something really neat in here. So really beautiful, really elegant. We have a marble counter surface, but I love the wallpaper. And what's crazy about this wallpaper is that there's actual little crystals embedded in the wallpaper. Can't say that I've seen that one done before, but nice custom little touch. All right, now let's come back to basically where we started, where is this entry area? So over here to the right, this is the courtyard entry that we came in from the beginning. And over here, this leads us to the backyard, the jacuzzi and the pool area, which of course we will get to at the very end. Now, down this hallway over here are the secondary bedrooms, but we're gonna come over this direction and check out the primary suite first. So in this hallway, what I really love is the fact that we have even all these windows that look out into the courtyard from the backyard, just giving a lot more ambient light. And we're gonna get to that concept here in a moment because this primary suite is filled with windows. But first we're gonna focus on the bathroom portion. So as you walk into the bathroom, the first thing you're gonna notice is this transition. So we're gonna transition from the limestone marble flooring into the Calcutta marble. So it's a different motif for sure, but it's also a different type of, of stone. 
Now over here to the right, this is the water closet, but we're gonna focus first on the vanities. So the his and her vanities are 100% identical. Now, the difference you have here between the kitchen is even this is more dramatic because here we have a beautiful quartz counter surface, but they went with a four inch edge profile. So it's even more monolithic than the kitchen even. And I love the fact that they did a waterfall return, not only on this vanity, but on the other one as well. So perfect, perfect symmetry. Now, another beautiful design feature is you're gonna notice that this wall is an accent wall with marble. So this is like a 24 inch marble square, but the lower part is almost like a wainscoting where they use a white stack stone quartz, just really, really elegant, gives it much of like that spa rich feel. And of course our floating bathtub. Over here on this side, this is his closet, a little bit smaller than what we're gonna see here in a moment. Now coming down a little bit farther, Obviously we have the matching vanity that we just discussed, but here we have a gorgeous, perfect shower. So the glass comes up, eh, I would say about nine feet, nine and a half feet. So we have about eight inches of clearance for steam. Obviously we could enclose that and create a steam shower, but this is a perfectly great shower. As we jump over the curb, we have a marble mosaic tile, the entire shower, both sides are marble. And then this backside accent is what we were just discussing as far as like that wainscoting area where this is all a white quartz stack stone. So just really a cool relief to it. We have two shower heads and of course above is a rainfall shower head. Yeah, that was my flight attendant. <laughs> all right, now let's check out the primary closet for her. Now, walking in behind me, beautiful, beautiful closet. And this is more what I was alluding to earlier. So this is more of what you see in a lot of modern kitchens, uh, more of a TFL kind of cabinetry, but a beautiful, beautiful custom closet. And one neat feature is the laundry room in this house is actually upstairs, but right behind the door here is actually a stackable washer dryer. So you can actually do your own laundry right in the closet. And then of course, for the rest of the house, anything else, the kids, you can go ahead and use the laundry room that's upstairs. All right, now we have seen the primary bathroom. We're gonna head a little bit back this way and we're gonna check out the actual sleeping area. And we gotta talk about the ambient light in here because it is just incredible. So I believe that there's seven windows and I mean, it just makes the space feel wonderful. The house is elevated as far as lots concerned. So you have absolute privacy because you're looking basically over the rooftops and you have this wonderful backyard. So even the side of this house is more like a backyard. We have two gazebos. It's beautiful to be in this space and be able to see all of your backyard. So coming around this area a little bit, we have another beautiful, beautiful chandelier to make it dramatic. All the windows we just discussed, we do have surround sound here and we have a French door that leads us out to the backyard so you can easily access the pool or do whatever you wanna do. I just absolutely love these views. All right, guys, we have now seen the primary suite. We're gonna head down the other side of the hallway and we're gonna check out the secondary bedrooms and see what's going on down there. Again, coming down from this perspective, we have a nice little accent area. We have two windows leading into that courtyard entry. And then again, we're back to where we started. We have the entry area and the front courtyard. Even down this part of the hallway, we have three more windows leading into the front courtyard. So just really wonderful to have so much ambient light everywhere. Now, here we are in one of the secondary bedrooms, just a normal secondary bedroom, plenty nice, recessed lighting. We have 10 foot ceilings. We have a walk-in closet there. And then over here, we have our ensuite bathroom. So very nice. This one has a bathtub. So for your children and your fur babies, you can go ahead and wash them right in there. But let's check out this other secondary bedroom because this one is even larger and a little bit nicer in some different ways. So this is great for a child. This is great if this wanted to be your office. This is great for your friends that you like when they come out of town. You can stuff them in the front of the house where no one has to hear them. But here we have a massive bedroom, 10 foot ceilings, gorgeous chandelier. This is in the front of the property. So this is looking directly at the front street. And then coming into this bathroom, you can really tell that this was the model home because this is a beautiful bathroom. Even the flooring is a little bit different. It looks more like a distressed tile. 
which matches the shower surround. And then we have this really, really cool accent. Really, really neat. I actually love the design factor of it. Hey, it's a great ensuite bathroom for a secondary. All right, guys, we have now seen the entire first floor of the property. Meet me upstairs and let's check out this second floor because it's a really, really cool loft area. So I'll see you guys up there in a moment. All right, guys, welcome to the loft upstairs. Now, one of my favorite parts of this area is this gorgeous staircase railing. And I love the perspective. I love being able to look over the family room, see the television, that gorgeous media wall, and the abundance of all these windows and natural light that I keep talking about. But let's check out the balcony area first because this is an incredible balcony. So this balcony runs the entire length of the entire back of the house. So I didn't measure, but it's probably about 70 feet long. It's insane. So coming through this French door, this leads us out to the massive balcony area. And you'll notice that there's the spiral staircase. That spiral staircase leads us to the rooftop deck that the owners put in after they purchased the property. So this wasn't included in the original showcase home, but it's an amazing balcony. And we're gonna finish up at the other end of the balcony and show you where it ends. Now, part of this great loft area is this wet bar, and I love it. Really cool. So we have this radius wall behind me, which was where the uh, breakfast nook table was downstairs. And here we have the exact same counter surface as we had in the kitchen. So beautiful uh, quartz counter surface, three and a half inch edge profile. We do have refrigeration over here. So again, this loft area is designed to be, you know, your movie theater, your game room, your viewing room. So really nice to have access to all your beverages up here without having to run downstairs. Now let's check out a little bit more of this loft area. So again, we have the perspective, the views, all the windows up here. Clearly, you can see this has been set up as a game room viewing area. Now, I didn't mention downstairs, but upstairs here, we have 6.1 surround sound. So we have our right center and left channel speakers with three behind. But even in the family room downstairs, we have it pre-wired for 6.1 with the rear speakers flanked just above the kitchen in the ceiling there. So really neat, plenty of options for you when it comes to sound design. More windows, I love this pool table, really, really cool modern pool table. But this is a really neat area. So through the double French doors here, you have a really large covered balcony area. So this would be really great to have a conversation on a nice night, maybe smoke a cigar while having some conversation. Really nice to have right off of the loft area. Even over here, you know, you can enjoy a little bourbon, have a nice intimate conversation, whatever works. And then of course, over here, this is the staircase that brought us up to the loft area. Clearly another perspective of the wet bar. And then over here, we have another powder bathroom. So this is the bathroom for your guests that would be upstairs in the viewing slash game room area, right across from the bar. Very, very convenient. Now, again, we have a beautiful railing here and this overlooks the front door entry and it's beset by this gorgeous, gorgeous crystal chandelier. I absolutely love it. Now, coming down this direction, we have secondary bedrooms to the left and the right. We're gonna start off in this direction first, and this is really, really a neat one. Now, if you're a gym rat like I am and you have to hit the gym five days a week, you know there's days where you just don't feel like going to the gym. There's days where you don't wanna to go to the clubhouse right down the street. So if you need to get in a quick workout, here is a dedicated workout room the floor has been specially treated, so if you drop your weights, it'll absorb a little bit of impact. We even have engineered wood around the perimeter, really neat. And just like the game room and just like the family room, this is pre-wired for 6.1 surround sound. So if you don't wanna wear your headphones, just rock on right in here in your own private gym. Really, really neat. All right, now we're gonna see another secondary bedroom, and this one's set up more to be a normal bedroom. So in this room, I would say is the complete giveaway that this was a former modern home. We have beautiful diamond plating accent wall, really kind of cool, gives it that industrial look, very masculine. Maybe this is for like your teenage boy, kind of a cool room. That follows more into the bathroom and you'll see a little bit more of this masculine design. So here we have a really nice, what is this? Eh, it's about 24 inch, 12 by 24 inch tile, more of a concrete look. 
And what I like what they did, kind of tying in the diamond plating accent wall, here, while we have a white quartz counter surface, they went with a stainless steel mosaic backsplash, but it's different than the one that was in the kitchen downstairs, but still gives it that industrial modern look. Behind this door, we have another walk-in closet, and behind me over here, we have a shower and a tub combo. So again, perfect if it's small children for fur babies, and they even put a little bit of that stainless steel mosaic uh, as a little accent at the top of the shower, kind of neat. All right, let's go back out. Let's check out now the laundry room and then a really, really neat secondary bedroom. So coming down this direction over here to your left, these windows overlook the courtyard area for the back of the house. And then over here is our laundry room. So kind of a normal, simple laundry room. Obviously this will take care of all the secondary bedrooms upstairs since you have your own washer dryer in your primary closet. But what's neat is all the way in the back of this laundry room is a massive walk-in linen closet. So very, very functional. Now let's check out this suite because this one's pretty sweet. So again, your friends that you like from out of town, this is the room that you would give them. So a little bit larger, a little more spacious. We'll get to the balcony here in a moment. We have a walk-in closet right here. And even this secondary bathroom's a little bit different. So we have a 12 by 24 inch flooring. This is more of a mossy green kind of look to it. But what I love is in the other bathroom where they went industrial and went with that stainless steel mosaic backsplash, here we have a mother of pearl backsplash. So a little bit more feminine, a little more elegant. And I love that they carry that over into the shower surround as an accent as well. Love Mother of Pearl and is a great use of the application over here. Now, we have the double French doors that leads out to this massive balcony. And this is just truly, truly incredible when you're in this space. Because this lot is elevated, you're basically looking over everyone's rooftops, but the sight line, I can see all the east side of Las Vegas. I can see part of the strip. I can see the M Resort. It's just very peaceful and serene. We have the mountain views over here, and this lot is massive. This is a third acre lot, which in this community is very large. And so I can see the double gazebos, the pool. It's just incredible. And speaking of backyard, why don't you guys just meet me downstairs and we can check out this backyard together. See you in a second. All right, guys, welcome to the, okay, not the backyard, but I wanted you to experience this. So through the front door entry, we come to this 11 foot accordion slider which brings us to the rear courtyard slash backyard. Now down here, we have a beautiful jacuzzi, very large, and that leads us to the water features area over here, which we have turned off for the competing microphone. But this is a great Baja shelf where you can put chaise lounges, be partially submerged without being fully immersed. Really great, and I love this part. You have ingress, egress from the front entry, as well as the family room, and this is what I was alluding to earlier, so really neat. Above me is the full length balcony, so it's a little chopped up down here, but obviously on the balcony above us, it runs the entire length of the house. Now let's check out this outdoor kitchen, because this is maybe the best outdoor kitchen as far as options go that I've seen. So. Here we have a massive 85 inch display. So while you're grilling, you can even enjoy the game, but this is neat. So over here, we have our first barbecue. So this is a wood firing digital barbecue. So if you want something really, really smoky, you're gonna use this barbecue. But wait, there's more. Coming over this direction, we've got gorgeous granite counter surface, this massive outdoor kitchen. So we have another outdoor ice maker here, tons of warming drawers, we have drawers right here for refrigeration. And this is hilarious. Gabby said, that's the biggest ass umbrella I've ever seen. And yes, this is a big ass umbrella. You're gonna need it. It's hundred degrees outside right now. I wish we had the, had the big ass umbrella above me to create some shade, but this is crazy. So here we have an outdoor hibachi grill so you can enjoy that if you want. And then here we have a more conventional gas fired barbecue grill. So again, this is like a culinary dream. However you like to grill or cook, every option under the sun, literally and figuratively, is available for you right there. You can see on this bar return side, we've got tons of seating. You can see 20 people at this outdoor kitchen. It's incredible. Now, coming over here, we have the proper pool area, water features galore, and I love that it comes down into this area. So 
As we step down into the conversation pit, you can see the reverse edge infinity. So all the water cascading down into the receptacle. We have a gas fire pit right here. And then we lead right up into this area on the other side. So this is just wonderful, wonderful. So coming in this area, this is the primary suite. So this is the door that would lead you directly into the backyard and the pool. Coming over to the side yard of the house, just an abundance of space, it's wonderful. So the owners decided to put in these two gazebos. So this is the first gazebo over here and then a wonderful planter garden as well behind it. Again, just a ton of space. Nowadays, maybe if you wanted a pickleball court, you could put a full pickleball court here. We've got a great little green here. So if you wanna work on your short game, you can work on your short game. And then we have this serene and peaceful area over here where we have the second gazebo. We've got the mountain views. We can overlook all of the rooftops. We can even see the Las Vegas Strip from this perspective right here. Just, just wonderful, wonderful. All right, guys, that wraps up this video. Tell me, what was your favorite part of the house? Is it the pool that comes into the courtyard? Is it the courtyard entry? Is it the design of the house? Is it the two dishwashers? Special thanks to the owner for being so gracious. It was a pleasure to meet him. Special thanks to the listing agent for allowing me to film this property. I will see you guys all in the next one. Click to like the video, click to subscribe. Stay tuned because we've got plenty more wonderful property tours coming. Deuces.